Good morning, folks. It was a calm but not silent day on our star. Just when you think that the Sunspot group might be ready to give us some major flares, it peaked out at X2.1 a few days ago and then wanes its activity. I know the last few days were fun to watch, but this is actually a pitiful uptick for Solar Maximum, which has been pitiful this entire cycle. Anyway, now that the group is spreading out, there is less field interaction and fewer flares. We shouldn't expect to see a complete region decay during this rotation. We also shouldn't expect to see anything super energetic either. We did take one M flare this morning after the sun sputtered all afternoon yesterday. Same active region, and again, no significant CME associated. We still maintain a delta class at that active region, but with less area covered by the intrapenumbral field interaction, these babies might only have one or two shots left in them. Otherwise, the only thing to note is some surging within the southern plasma filaments. Did take a gamma ray burst last night out of Ursa Major, second one in a row from way up north. Those CMEs we expected are finally arriving this morning very weak as expected which is seen in the lower speed and plasma temperature coming with the density electrons are feeling the shock waves however hitting the deck while our shield is still holding strong for now eyes open within 36 hours the southern and northern coronal holes will face earth we've got minor to medium power in the southern bulb but the force is rising up north a huge one day increase in top level force up there Top story today is a new radiation event. 9.3 times the legal level of radioactive cesium-137 was found contaminating powdered tea. This was imported to Hong Kong and other areas. Other top story is Cyclone Pam. Absolutely pounded Vanuatu. They are expecting dozens of people to have died in the event. There's a ton of damage to the local buildings and agriculture as well. Right now, Cyclone Pam is dancing through the West Pacific Islands and heading south towards New Zealand. We've got two other Australian storms weakening and moving relatively slowly. Weather shares are welcome. Northern Storm still setting its eyes on Guam and to the west and beyond. A couple days ago, I said cold was coming back to the U.S. and here's why. Jetstream dip is going to allow Old Man Winter to come bursting through the door once again. Northern Stream couldn't keep it together. Right now, we see the Atlantic moisture, which is mostly a watch shooting north to New England, and out west, the Pacific Low is directly on shore. Both those areas are on alert tonight, with New England seeing freezing rain potential. In Europe, a high-pressure node will clear this area here without issue. The convergence over Iceland is another story, with more circulation around low pressure to the south and southeast. Watch zones tonight hit the convergence and the lows, but it'll be nicer around those highs. Today is Saturday, so we've got another hour of Fly on the Wall podcast uploading to the website in a few hours. Website membership over at suspiciousobservers.org is considered a high luxury item at $3 per month or $20 for an entire year, but we appreciate your support more than you know. Got the current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.